Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football. We are what? Season 3, Episode 5. And uh, we're picking up where we left off. We are heading into, we're, we're 11, we're 12 weeks into the season. So this will get us to the end of the season. And then if we make the playoffs, I, I will probably do that uh, in one go. Uh, just to see what happens. So, let's see. I do want to check our roster. Prescott is still out with his broken leg for two to four weeks. So, that's not good. No bueno. No bueno. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's simulate the week. Back up. And we lose by 10. 14 fourth quarter points. That's not good. Our cornerback leads the team with seven tackles. A defensive touchdown. A fumble recovery. So pick six. Nice. Randall Cobb from Keith Sharp. 10 out of 20. That's disgustingly gross. It certainly helps you understand why quarterback is such a important position, right? All right, let's see. Player reports. Uh, Malik Collins. Christian Covington. Cooper Rush wants more lucrative. Of course, I don't remember how much I offered him. So that kind of sucks. Um, contracts. Just, just quarterbacks. All right, so all three of those guys are free agents. He's 24. Okay, if we go to roster, there we are. All right, let's let's put uh, let's put Dak at the top. All right, so Sharp has the best arm. But remember, we went through the the ratings a couple of episodes back it would be nice if if you could see all the important stuff here right like you know accuracy because accuracy oh there there's accuracy never mind i'm I'm losing my shit for nothing. So Key Sharp actually has the lowest accuracy. Cooper Rush. So let's go there. Accuracy, intelligence. Now Sharp does have good intelligence, but he's really low on accuracy. I think I'm going to bench him. And we're going to go with Cooper Rush. Looks like the game obviously defaults to arm. So if we go to depth chart, Cooper Rush, and then Sharp, as well as the OBR, right? So we're going to save that. And then Dackey, still two to four weeks. All right, we're playing Washington this week. Oh, 24 to 10, a big win over the Skins. Let's check out that box score. So Elliott, three-yard run. Cooper Rush with, a, with two touchdown passes. 19 of 30, 237. I am much happier with that statistic. Now, it's only a one-game one game window, right? So we can't really make any long-term decisions off of that but 
I am happy with that. So let's go to contracts. And let's go to Cooper. He's making 540000 right now. So we probably need to offer him, let's offer him 510 for three years. Let's see if he takes that. Read all. All right, go back to roster. One to two weeks. Stiff neck. See, I, I, I don't feel bad for people with stiff necks because I have a stiff neck and it's from being old. And so, you know, I have to deal with that every day. So I don't want to hear you shit about a stiff neck. Youngster getting paid lots of money. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so the Raiders. Oh, no, that's the Rams. My bad. 31 13. Yes. Cooper Rush. Look at the game. Look at the game he had. Ellie had a 30 yard run. Uh, we gave up a 97 yard kickoff return. Cooper to uh, Mari Cooper for 59 yards. Oliphant caught a touchdown, six yards. 20 out of 39. I can live with that. I can live with that. Not to mention the fact he's winning games, right? He's winning games. Uh, let's see. Standings. All right, so we're oof, we're 9-5. and five. We're a game up on the Eagles, who have won three in a row. Nine and five. Now, the good news is that actually has us in line for a wild card if we don't win the division. So, I'm liking where we're at. Cooper's gone over 1,000 yards receiving. Elliott's over 1,200 yards rushing. Things are looking pretty good. Not ready to make a decision. All right, well, it's getting on to the end of the season. I, I would kind of like a decision sooner rather than later. Oh, uh, roster. Doubtful. It's a broken leg. Don't want to risk playoffs with a broken leg, right? Oh, fractured cheekbone. Tyron Smith's out. I really wish injuries would show up in your email, either injured or returning from injury, to let you know that, hey, you know, that now you need to go in and look at your your depth charts and everything. That would be a nice add-on, I think. All right, Giants. Well, first off, where's Philly? There's Philly. And Philadelphia won. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we got torched. 45 to 17. Four touchdowns for Jones. Gee whiz. 22 out of 33. Four touchdowns. Wow. I mean, we didn't play bad, it doesn't look like. Just the defense. Oh, a pick six. That doesn't help. Yeah, 14 out of 28. We actually had a really good game rushing. Both running backs over five yards a carry. Two picks, though. That's uh, 50%. Can't, can't have that. Can't have that. Uh, Oliphant, speak of the devil. Uh, yeah, he got... One touchdown. Oh, he's not a rookie. He's in his second year. Wow. Only doing three sims a season. This game goes pretty fast. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. All right. Um, let's go check the emails first. <sighs> Damn it. Now he's procrastinating at the end of the season. Maybe if I didn't start him, he'd have more time to look at the contract. Just just a thought. 
questionable. I'm still going to hold him out. I'm still going to hold him out. And we have uh, gone into a tie and conference record has us in second place, nine and six. All right, so we are in the wild card, right? We're looking good in the wild card, so that's good. We're actually tied with Seattle right now. We've got a two-game lead, a three-game lead, two-game lead. So the only team that can catch us is the Bears for a wild card berth. So we're still we're still in the thick of things. And nine and six is fifteen. So this should be the last game. Oh, okay. Don't anybody look. Hello. No, hello, James. There we are. Thank you. Yeah, I wish it wouldn't jump ahead like that. All right. Um, all right. We played that one. Okay. Philadelphia. Philadelphia lost. Okay. That's good. The Bears. The Bears lost, so we should have a wild card sewn up. I didn't see the playoff screen, so if you saw that, don't yell it out to me because I don't know. Oh, by the way, uh, before we look, oh, happy birthday to my buddy John Butan. He's not on here, but uh, I just saw that popped up. And Dr. K, welcome to the channel. Kaboy, K-I-B-O-Y. I'm going to go with Kaboy, Kaiboy, Kaboy. Welcome to the channel. Um, I think those are the newest guys that I have not welcomed yet. Yeah, I'm going back pretty far for the previous uh, subscription. Uh, Tom T, good to see you back in the comments. Uh, welcome back. Hope things are going well. And um, yeah, so welcome to the two new guys. And that puts us at 400... and 42 subscribers. So moving on and upwards, thank you guys, much appreciated. Uh, I really do, really do. Um, you know, I remember hitting 200 and now, you know, and then I was like, wow, 400's taking forever. And you know, 400 seems like just, you know, a month or so ago and now we're at 442. So onward and upward, very happy with that. So we should be in the wild card. If we win this, we have a shot at the division. We, we win the division, right? Yes, we beat the Niners. Hate the Niners. Ever since the catch. Uh, I was a big Montana fan, but hated the Niners because of the catch and uh, ending the Dallas dynasty in the 80s. Anyway, 20 to 13. Very nice. Cooper Rush. A bunch of field goals by Maher. Uh, Rush with the game-winning touchdown to Amari Cooper. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. 15 of 26, 138. Not great. Two touchdowns, though. I am happy with that. Cooper Rush down the stretch. He has gotten the job done, right? We've been busy this week. Well, I understand you're watching game film and you're preparing... Uh, if you don't sign the contract, you will not be here next week. Of course, he's gotten some wins, so maybe he thinks he will get a starting offer next year. Don't know. All right, roster. Dak, still questionable. Still questionable. 11 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, 7 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, a little lower completion percentage. Five, five, and a much lower completion percentage. And he has not played this year. Is he a rookie that we signed? 
He's got good at he's got really good accuracy. Arm intelligence. Hmm. Do we offer him Oh, no 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 no. Yeah, you're not going to be a starter. Ooh, no. Back up. All right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that did, but whatever. Um, all right. So, playoffs. Close. Playoffs. Playoffs. Well, let's look at Hold on. Let's see. We are in the we are in the playoffs. We won the East. Yes, 10 and 6. We did win the East. Division champions. All right. So we won the division. That's nice. Eagles and the Rams. And we were the low end. I guess we were the low end uh, division winner. So we get the other wild card game. That's disappointing. Chargers, Dolphins, Jags, Bengals on the other side. Well, let's... Uh, let's sim that game all right chargers beat the dolphins in overtime jaguars beat the bengals rams crush the eagles we're playing the seahawks do i This is what I'm going to do. So Dax listed as number one. If he's able to play, then he'll play, right? So that's going to be up to the head coach. So we are going to go with that. Come on. Yes, 30 to 17. Big win. Who played? Ooh, DK Metcalf. Elliot. Byron Jones with an interception return. Pick six. Nice. And it was Cooper Rush. He did not play well. 7.8 yards a carry for Pollard. Nice. I like that. Good defensive play. Byron Jones with the touchdown. Nice. All right. So that moves us into the Falcons. The Rams will take on the Lions. Then on the other side, the Chargers and Colts, Jaguars, Chiefs. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, sim, sim these games. Uh, oh, wait. Emails. Oh, I was supposed to stop here, wasn't I? I'm only 18 minutes in. Let's keep going. Cooper Rush signs our contract. All right, so good for him. Uh, considering him a backup is an insult. Well, he is a backup because I got Dak Prescott. So, yeah. If you think you're a starter, via Candios, my man. Fifth in rushing... All right, roster, roster. All right, he's back to probable. He's questionable. All right. Chargers edge the Colts. Oh, the Jaguars crushed the Chiefs. Are you kidding? Patrick Mahomes, 22 out of 42, two picks, no touchdowns. Ow. Who the hell is that? Tanner Lee out of Nebraska? A clutch quarterback. No shit. Okay, Paxton was their starter, so he must have got hurt. 
He is not injured. Don't know why he didn't play, but that's cool. Justin Blackman. He was so good at Oklahoma State as a receiver. And he just got cut, I believe, um, whoever he was with. Fournette. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, Rams, Lions. Lions. Damn. They're the real deal. Matthew Stafford. Oh, God. Did he get hurt? Fatigue. Dude, if you're my starting quarterback, you better not be telling me you're tired during the postseason. Stafford, 20 of 24, three touchdowns. Nice. Gurley. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's worth that cabillion dollar contract that he signed. That's why I'm really worried about the Cowboys having signed Zeke to the contract they did. Don't think he uh, warranted it. All right, Falcons. Do we have a matchup in here? Oh, okay. Here we go. So, first. First in the conference against fifth in the conference. Offense, defense. And then they're the number five offense going against the number one scoring offense. Cool. Matt Ryan, 24 touchdowns. Wow. I'm nervous here. I'm nervous. Oh, 23-17 loss. Boo! Elliott, 132 yards. We actually played well. We outgained him. Prescott did play. Played well. Would have liked more touchdowns. More touchdowns would have been better. Cooper. So let's see. We had a touchdown, a field goal. Julio Jones, Cooper traded touchdowns. Okay. Yeah, we just didn't get any points. 13 unanswered points there. Uh, well, disappointing season there, I guess. All right. Well, let's simulate the week here. Falcons beat the Lions. Chargers edge the Jaguars. Oh, I got to look at the box score. So they were down. They scored with a minute 48 left in the game. Tyrod Taylor to Keenan Allen. Are you kidding? 26 touchdowns, 11 picks, and 65% completion for Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, the pictures are not good, but Melvin Gordon, look at that. 1,300 yards, 18 touchdowns. Good running back, but again, I just don't think you can pay running backs what these guys were asking for this year in real life. All right. Chargers, Falcons. Boom. Oh, what an ass whipping in the Super Bowl. 37 to 6. Woo! Tyrod Taylor did not look good. Nine out of 26. Matt Ryan. That Jake McDermott? Jose McDermott from Delaware. He's a gunslinger. Like it. That's Matt Ryan. A legend. Gordon held to 69 yards. 7.7 .7 yards a carry. Can't go wrong there. Oh, man. Uh, let's go to the season awards, I suppose. Uh, use the drops. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't want to vote for that. I don't, I don't care. You can vote for. It looks like if you don't change anything, the the default person wins. So Melvin Gordon, the playoff MVP, George Bergman, defensive rookie of the year, Fournette, offensive player of the year, Joseph Bowman from Buffalo, offensive rookie of the year, Bowman out of UMass, fifth round pick. 
a dual threat quarterback, 3,200 yards, 20 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. He added three touchdowns rushing. All right. Offensive Rookie of the Year. And then uh, Travis Roberts from Buffalo, Defensive Player of the Year. And Leonard Fournette, MVP, 1,700 yards, rushing 17 touchdowns, 561 yards receiving, and two more touchdowns. Nice, nice. Uh, Pro Bowl, don't care. Uh, sim the Pro Bowl. Show the score, which I don't care. Does anybody actually watch the Pro Bowl? Uh, I just, you know. All right. I've had all season to sign my guys. So, oh, let's see. Um, I do want to see who made the Pro Bowl. Cam, Cam and Jameis, are you shitting me? I, I don't think either one of those guys are going to have a job after this season. Uh, wow. Uh, our guy did not get a Pro Bowl bid. Interesting. I don't think we had a single guy. Doesn't tell you what team, so I don't remember everybody. I don't have that kind of memory. Huh. Interesting. Yes, we can finish all that. All right, guys, so that'll be the end of the season. The uh, Falcons win it all. We had a pretty good year. Uh, that stretch of runs here against the Colts, Jags, and Eagles was not good. That was uh, after Dak's injury, I believe. And then uh, we bought Cooper in, and Cooper did pretty well down the stretch, winning three out of four. So he got us in the playoffs single-handedly, I would say. So uh, he should be back as our backup next year. Uh, let's see. Anything else that we want to look at? We've already looked at the team. We've kind of glanced at the stats. Team menu. There we go. Stats. So Sharp got three starts. Less than impressive. Cooper was much better. I think, you know, now that I've kind of looked at this with four starts here, three starts for Sharp, I think that we can really say that that accuracy is much more important than the uh, arm strength uh, to a quarterback. So probably not 100% definitiveness, but still being what it is, <clears throat> 1,479 yards, nine touchdowns, six for Pollard, 1,100 yards for Cooper, eight touchdowns, three interceptions for Jackson and Jones. I uh, believe Maher is uh, 19 out of 27. Yeah, I think we're going to let him go and try to find a new kicker this year. We'll, we'll, we'll draft somebody, I'm sure. Uh, or pick somebody up off the uh, undrafted list. But anyway, that ends uh, our third season. So um, let me know uh, what you guys thought. Do I keep going? Um you know, I know I've gotten several comments that, you know, they don't, you know, they don't like the format. I haven't heard any real alternatives to the way I'm doing it. And again, I just think the, I think watching the little bubbles move around the, the screen is not good video. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just, no, I, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the season. Uh, let me know what you think about, uh, you know, did we make the right choice keeping Cooper Rush over uh, Sharp? Uh, I, I thought Sharp might turn into be a pretty good quarterback. Now, granted, he's only got one year in the league. I just drafted him this past se this season, so it's possible with a couple of years that he might develop, but the fact that I can't re-sign him and he's wanting – 
over a million dollars a year starter money, yeah, that's not going to happen. Now, do, do I go back and look at him in free agency and try to sign him as my number three again? Maybe, maybe. Um, but again, I think I'm going to continue with my uh, thought process of trying to draft a quarterback. I really don't like the fact that I'm limited to just that one year on late round draft picks that I can't sign them to a three year deal if I want them. Anyway, that is what it is. So, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts on the game, on the game itself as a whole. Now that we've got three seasons that, that you've watched, uh, if you've watched all of them, uh, let me know how, how you think we did this year. Let me know what you think about the quarterback situation, the quarterback ratings in particular. Did we make the right choice with uh, Cooper Rush over Kevin Sharp? And uh, we'll be back next episode, assuming that you guys want to see another season. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take long to record these. So there is another game that I want to start doing a series for. Uh, but uh, whatever I do will always be secondary, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but, you know, the primary game that I play, the primary game that I enjoy playing um, because I get the most out of it is Football Manager, uh, the soccer game. So that'll always be, it doesn't get the most views, and I don't care about that. It's what I enjoy playing. So that's always going to be my primary game. Um, again, this one doesn't take very long i mean we're at 31 minutes and this is a straight recording i just fired up the game and boom off we went i don't have to play you know like football manager i don't have to play uh two hours between between episodes uh some of the survival games i don't have to go play you know two or three nights in a row farming uh that's boring stuff to watch on video to come back to do a building episode or you know, something like that, that just take more time. Uh, so this one's pretty easy as far as a recording process. It's just basically open the game, play it out for the, the you know, six weeks that we're doing, and then we're done. Um, so, you know, I can keep doing this one even if I wanted to start another secondary series, uh, which there is a game that has had a couple of updates recently and I do want to get back into because uh, I'm enjoying playing it solo. And again, my philosophy has always been if I'm playing the game, I just assume record it and put it on my YouTube channel. So that's always been my thought process. Um, so anyway, that's a lot for you guys to think about, I guess. But anyway, look forward to your thoughts, comments in the, uh, in the, in the comments below. And uh, then we will get uh, started on assuming you guys want to see another season. Uh, then we will be back uh, for next episode uh, in a few days and have uh, have the start of season number four. We'll hit free agency and we'll do all that stuff uh, for the beginning of the season. And then we'll have the uh, start of the season in the following episode. We'll have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.